We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Bit of a haul video today, just wanted to share a few of the things that I've uh, received this week. It's been a pretty exciting week. Um, and yeah, I've got, I've got a nice big box here to open. That's the one that's uh, seen on the thumbnail. So we'll kick off with a few books that I picked up. Or well, my wife picked this one up for me. It is the 2021 souvenir edition of Star Wars Insider. Uh, this just collects a really good art, bunch of articles throughout the year um, and the artwork on the front is just kick ass, look at that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to having a flick through this and reading some of the old articles. Um, there's a good one there on uh, Phantom Menace merch, which is some crazy stuff coming out back then. Uh, next up, Darth Vader, Dark Heart of the Sith. This is the new sort of post Empire series, I'm a little bit behind. On them but uh yeah i'm looking forward to getting stuck into this i wish they'd sort of continued with the same spine art that they had previously but that's okay they obviously want to differentiate the eras so we'll go from there uh into the dark star wars high republic i uh, started this one last night and just reading the prologue i'm i'm absolutely hooked i love claudia gray's writing she's uh, my favorite Star Wars author at the moment, so um, yeah, really looking forward to digging into this one a whole lot more. Another pretty good book I got was the Star Wars Archives, episodes four, four, to, four, four to six, 1977 to 1983. Now, uh, by, by Paul Duncan, this was released a couple of years ago in a far bigger and far more expensive version uh, that in, did include some information about, I believe it's the Ewok films, uh, the two Ewok films, as well as the uh, animated series Ewoks and the animated series Droids. So this is just a uh, smaller version, um, but look at the size of it. It's still pretty damn thick. <laughs> um, there's still lots, lots of information here. And uh, yeah, it's just going through the trilogy. So I'll probably wait for the prequel version of this one to come out as well. Because um, a prequel version of the big book just came out. So I'll probably hold out for the uh, for the more compact size. Because this is about $35. So much better priced. Uh, much more up my alley. And uh, Star Wars figures just jumped off my shelf. Just wanted to share that. And another one. <laughs> Alright, so... Despite the fact that we didn't get to get to Star Wars Celebration last year due, due to uh, the whole coronavirus thing, uh, we were eligible to receive some of the merch uh, that we did prepay for, and uh, yeah, we're, we're going, we're, we'll hopefully make it back over there in 2022. So I've uh, got a couple of lanyards. So there's the uh, hero side. Oh, both of them have a, like a dark side and a light side, and there's Vader on that side. They're pretty cool. Star Wars Celebration on the top. They probably could have held onto these and saved them for uh, 2022, seeing as they didn't put the date on there. I uh, did get a couple of patches. Obviously, they'd made these beforehand, uh, but these will be remembered as the celebration that never happened. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to... Uh, looking really looking forward to 2022. I'm glad 2020's behind us. I, uh, I absolutely miss Star Wars Celebration. It's one of my favourite pastimes. Um, and uh, Reed Pop actually sent out these free pins for people who transferred their tickets through to 2022. So both me and my wife got a couple of these pins. So they look great. Just a double pin on the back. So yeah, looking forward to these pinning these to my Star Wars jacket. Speaking of Star Wars jackets, I now have an accessory to wear when I next have a, you know, a fancy gathering like a wedding or something like that yes that's right Jar Jar Binks tie look how good that is <laughs> I grabbed this off eBay this is from 1999 I think it doesn't actually have a date on it but it has that sort of 1999 style logo but yeah I have a Jar Jar Binks tie and that is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life I'm going to rock that hard. All right, so just on my way home today, I picked up a couple of figures from my local EB Games. Um, I've been after these for a little while and I've just sort of been holding off. I know that there've been plenty around here um, the last couple of months, or well, the last month or so, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's the retro 
Boba Fett and uh, both of these are pretty uh, pretty rough <laughs> and that's not just because the cards rough it's uh, that one's a bit all banged up here it's some yeah I've only just taken out of these out of the bag first time this one the card looks a little bit cleaner but the bubbles crushed um, that's a little disappointing. I might be taking at least one of these back. One of them was going to be an opener, but I might go back and see if they've got one I can trade off. Because, um, yeah, one of them definitely going to be an opener. But, um, yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer. It's, it's dusty. It looks like it's been water damaged or something. But um, it's been sitting in a dusty warehouse for a long time, which I've failed to see how. But um, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll roll with it. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. I will be trying to take one of these back later on and get a switch it out for something a little bit better. Hopefully they've got some more in stock. But yeah, I'll be uh, doing it anyway. When I do get that, I'll be doing a bit of a review overview because I do have the uh, 2020, uh, 2010 uh, version of the sort of pre-retro Boba Fett that they released. It was like a vintage style. Uh, that was an exclusive from the vintage collection. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a video on Boba Fett. So, lastly for today, we've got a big box. Comes from inboxtoys.com.au. They're based over in Perth in Western Australia. Nice big box. Really, really excited for this one today. Um, so uh, let's crack it open and have a look. I know what's in it, but just for, you know, suspense reasons. I'm going to uh, do a nice slow reveal. Uh, bought from these guys a couple of times now. Um, yeah, been really good, really well packed, great service, uh, nice easy website to, to use. So again, we've been really spoiled for choice here in Australia for online retailers. Nice flyer there. Just pause that and go check them out on their social media stuff. So are you part of Collector's Corner? Send us your favourite photo of your toy collection and get featured on our Collector's Corner page. That's cool. That must be on their website. I haven't haven't sought that out yet, so invoice packing paper. Stick that down the side there. Alright, so first off, we do have a vintage collection figure here. Now this is one I sort of I missed out the first time. And uh, I do have this one loose because it was released in the black series. Um, but I really wanted to have a carded version of this. Just because I really, really like the, like the character, like the figure, I like the card art, I like everything about it, so... Um, and that is Minty, Minty Fresh, the Death Trooper, VC-127. That is nice, I love that orange. With the orange in the background. I know they've just done a carbonized version of this on a Mandalorian card. Um, and I may actually pick that one up to have side by side. But this one is really, really nice. I've got a spare case to put this in, so that's going to be nice and protected. So we'll just put that down over there for the moment. And paper. More paper, that'll go in the fireplace come winter time. box out of the way. Yeah, really well wrapped, really nice tissue paper and there's bubble wrap underneath that. So, they've done a great job. Um, I actually had this for a pretty, pretty reasonable price. Um, and one of the first retailers to have it available in Australia that I've seen. So, I'm, I just, I've held off. I've watched a couple of reviews recently. I wasn't going to buy the bullet um, on this, but it, I saw uh, only one Kenobi's and I think I watched two or three different reviews as well just I just really want to sell myself on this thing and uh, I did talk myself into it so um, yeah, they use a lot of bubble wrap and it's really well wrapped all right Tantive 4 corridor this thing looks nice this is nice and heavy look at it check it out Another Rogue One figure in there, which is nice. A 
don't want to be staying carted as well. It would display nicely with that death trooper that I just opened up. So I've got plenty of stormtroopers and I do have four of the uh, rebel soldiers here from the uh, vintage collection release. They did drop here for about five dollars at one point um, and I managed to grab a few and they're readily available on uh, tunghori.com or they were at one point so I'm really really excited to open this thing up and have a look have a little play around get some photos um, and yeah I may even use this for a future episode of setting the scene so Stay tuned for that because uh, there's plenty of plenty of uh, opportunities to use here. Make something up, make up a cool scene. Uh, yeah, really, 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 really chuffed. I'll be doing a review of this one. Um, so stay tuned for that. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I've had a great week. Hope you have too. Um, I'll see you this weekend on the live stream. Um, check my Instagram and Facebook for when I will be going live, check your local time zone and try and line that up and see if you can jump in, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do give this video a thumbs up if you like it and hit the notification bell so you get all the videos straight to your inbox and until then, may the force be with you guys. We're a little rushed so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.